Hello everyone, welcome back to another no clipping video. Uh, this video is going to be of Ascension. If you haven't seen the previous two videos in this uh, little playlist series at the moment, which are Kino and Five, then uh, do go and check those out. They show some pretty awesome things outside the map, including a lot of Easter eggs. Uh, also, before we start, I apologise for those videos having an echo problem. I wasn't aware of it when I was recording them, obviously, and I noticed that there was one on Kino, and then when I did five, I thought I'd actually fix the echo problem, but it was still there, um, and I've now fixed it for this one, and I have tested it a lot beforehand, so I know that it's fixed and there's no echo now. Um, it was a pain in the ass, <laughs> I will commit, uh, admit, and um, yeah, I'm sorry that you guys had to put up with those echoes, but you shouldn't hear it anymore. Uh, anyway, so yeah, if you don't know what this series is all about, it's me going around the maps, uh, going outside the barriers and things, and just looking around the maps to see what we can find, and just in general to show off the maps to everyone, because I know a lot of people like to see the entire map, which includes the outside bits as well that you don't normally see. Um, and also, if there are any Easter eggs, then I'll point them out and go through them. Alright, let's get on with it, shall we? So I'm going to start in here, and yes, I have turned on the power because I thought you guys might like to actually look at this map in colour rather than black and white. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have turned that on. Uh, right, so I suppose we can have a look inside this because I know so many people like to see if there's actually anything in this thing. Uh, and the answer is no. <laughs> I actually call this thing the baseball bat, but yeah, many people have different names for it. Um, yeah. Right, let's go out here. Yeah. Anything out here? Nope. Well, there's a Grim Reaper blood stain again, which made its way to Ascension as well. Um, we've got the Easter egg for the phone over here. There are loads of phone Easter eggs on this map, <laughs> which relate to five, so... Yeah, I'll go through those in another video at some point. Uh, let's have a look in here, I guess. Not a lot. Not a lot. Here's the fire room, which the zombies come out of. There's a staircase that just goes to nowhere, which is always quite amusing. Uh, right. Let's have a look in here. The bloody handprint. The oh, always very exciting. Very weird looking barrier window from the back. It has to be said. There's a rounded bit of orange that is coming from nowhere. Which is always quite intriguing. Uh, <laughs> right. Anyway, so yeah. I don't think there's anything really significant inside these, is there? Nah, just the tin cans and these battery things. Right, let's move along. Uh, over here. <coughs> Not a lot in there. Uh, I'm going to go down to Jug first and then make my way up top. Might as well do all this bit in one go. Um, here's this bit here. With the little corridor that the zombies come out of. Again, not too pretty. Uh, these vents are just nothing, sadly. <laughs> uh, now, I'm here. This big metal door, which I know so many people were constantly like, yeah, there's something behind it. The end of the Easter egg, you can go behind it. Now, unless you have roll mass mod, the way you actually collect souls by the door, then no, I'm afraid to disappoint you, there is nothing behind this, and we'll prove it right now. There you go, nothing, just a big metal door. Sorry folks, there's nothing to do with the easter egg by this door. The easter egg ends as soon as you free Gersh, and um, you hear Samantha screaming. <laughs> That is when it ends, and that's just it. There's nothing more to it. You have to accept that one day. Uh, 
There's an interesting computer room back here, which is uh, something that you don't really expect to just randomly see in the middle of a zombie spawning room, but all right then. It is pretty cool. Uh, not a lot in this pit. Zombie hand, and there's also part of the Grim Reaper blood stain there, as you can see. You can just about make out the head there and stuff, which is quite a sneaky little Easter egg spot. Uh, that's, yeah, there's nothing in there. Right. How should I do this? Should I do this bit and then. No, actually, I'm going to go and do it this way. Uh, where am I? There we go. Right, let's go from here. <coughs> I'm going to actually go through this bit and go that way first, and then come back over and do the whole of that side, just because it'll be easier. So let's go through here. A lot of bloody footprints. Uh, we've also got the... Come on, thank you. CCP boxes. Uh, which are quite neat to see in here. <laughs> then we got this bit. This is actually quite a big spawning point, surprisingly. Like, look at the size of it. <laughs> it stretches out quite a bit. I'll give you that. Put a lot into this spawning area. An awful lot. Oh, and... Uh, what I'm going to do is actually go through the barriers in the main map first, and then once I've done all that, I'm going to go outside the map and take a look around the whole entire landscape, uh, as there is a lot more to it outside, which you might want to see. So yeah, in here. Uh, not a lot again. Good old stamina. Oh yeah, and you also can't see the red buttons behind the walls, just thought I confirmed that. They literally will only appear during the uh, actual round <coughs> with the monkeys. Here's a computer terminal room again. A bit more destroyed and everything, this one. But there you go. Let's go through here. We've got some barbed wire and stuff over there. A uh, little Dempsey doll. <laughs> Not a lot going on in here. The Illuminati computer. <laughs> uh, you got these cages, which actually has a secret radio in it. If you go through the radios in order, can't see it yet because I haven't done the first radio. But it's like the second radio in it appears in there, uh, which you could go and activate and stuff. Right, so this window pretty much shows the entire outside of the map. There's quite a lot to the outside of the map on Ascension, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show it off, like I said, at the end, because there is a lot to it. <laughs> this is a uh, destroyed lander, which is just randomly there as you do um, keep going keep going oh yes that's the little easter egg I wanted to show people I was wondering where it was I knew it was around here somewhere the teleporter bottom bit again which you saw on 5 if you've seen the other video obviously if you haven't then you might not know um, and the reasons uh, Kino in particular I'm aiming at here for this there are probably other maps as well, but I'm just saying those ones because they're in Black Ops 1 and it's easier. Um, there's uh, the bottom bit of the teleporter that you normally see, in particular on Debris, uh, with this outside shape here. Um, it was one on five as well, which I was saying that possibly the Americans were trying to develop uh, teleporters of their own, which you kind of see in 5 anyway, but that was the little bottom bit of the teleporter, and yeah, so I guess that's kind of what's come over to Ascension, um, sort of. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how this fits into Ascension as much, because they didn't really need to teleport in Ascension, they needed to launch a rocket up into space, but anyhow, um, 
Yes, that is the teleporter bottom Easter egg, which is just randomly on the outside, which is kind of cool to see. Uh, but yeah, that's it, really. I don't know, Treyarch had another plan for it, which they just never told anyone. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, you can see a little teddy bear behind the door there. Uh, if you like the Easter egg songs. <laughs> Alright, so that's the whole of this side for the minute. Now, let's venture over here. Um, so even though this isn't really a window that zombies come in down here, <laughs> thought I'd show you this anyway. This random little room where the uh, truck front is and everything. Where it's all smashed through, that you can see from over here. Alright, here's a notice board with a few little pictures on it. You can not really make them out that well, but you can see a few different parts to them. It's just kind of neat. Uh, yeah. Alright, let's go across here again. Again, we got another bit which shows a lot of the outside the map, including the uh, start of the Easter egg, which is right here with the generator, where you throw the gush and stuff. Um, yep. Yeah. Don't particularly want to go too far out again. That'll do. All right. There's the first radio. In case people didn't know. Uh, again, here's another truck blown up, and a random small little bit here, which is always a little strange to see. PhD flopper side bit here, not a lot in here other than a lot of blood. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. Oh, oops, up here in this barrier. Um, there's a few books up here, which is a bit strange. And, yeah, another notice board, which you can't really make out, but I'm guessing it has something slightly important on it. I can't tell, though, because <laughs> it's so blurry. <laughs> right, moving along here. Got fire on the tyres there. Uh... We've also got a load of generators stacked up here in the back, which is a bit strange, but there you go. We've got a destroyed CCP rocket over here, as you can see. Uh, one of the, I presume, failed rockets that came back and got destroyed, or one that was supposed to be built, like you can see over there, there's a crane holding it. Possibly it was being built and it fell apart when the apocalypse broke out. Or, um, I don't know, maybe it just never was um, fully retrieved out. I don't really know. <laughs> yeah, there's probably some story to it. Alright, and there's this room. We've got another CCP box here, but it's about a 10 on it. I don't know if that has any significance. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Uh, not a lot more in here. Other than a really, really random bloodied handprint on this box here. Which is a strange thing to see. I mean, <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure why there's a bloodied handprint on this container. And also, if you come out here, you can't even see it. So it's strange that they put it on. I don't know why it's there, I actually really don't know. <laughs> um, I presume it's an easter egg or some sort, but I really haven't got a clue why it's there. There's not one on the other side either. So yeah, it's, uh, it's an interesting little thing to see. I presume it's an easter egg of some sort. I don't know what though. So I'll leave it up to everyone else to decide what that is. Uh, we got the little Richtofen doll. <coughs> do, 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 do. Oh yeah, we got the Grim Reaper blood again. You'll find that the Grim Reaper bloods are quite common in Black Ops 1. They're like everywhere. <laughs> They're like a mini little Easter egg pretty much. It's kind of clever in some ways. Uh, a few little computer bits here, including some grass growing through the wall. 
Yep. <laughs> uh, going further up. Um, in here. We've got another server room. With another Grim Reaper blood print there again. Uh, another book. And that's about it. And if we move over here, is there anything back here? Nope. And then we've got normal signs working our way up towards the power. Uh, we got a awesome looking symbol for the actual tower bit, which is right here, which is pretty cool. Uh, then we got the little window here. Mostly normal. There's another cupboard at the back here, and a few boxes, nothing in them. But yeah, that's that. <laughs> um, I think, I'm pretty sure this blood print right here is supposed to be the bottom bit of a Grim Reaper blood print. It looks just like the bottom bit of one. So I'm going to say that that's a Grim Reaper blood print again, but you just can't see the top of it. But I presume it's a Grim Reaper blubbering. Right, if we go up here for a second. This is one of the spots where the zombies spawn and then jump down, obviously. Um, if you speak Russian and you can read this, then that would be awesome to know. I can tell that it says something to do with danger and possibly something to do with nucleus waste or something, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's a little weird sign that's quite interesting. But yeah, if you're Russian and you understand that and can actually read it, it's not the easiest thing to show you, but if you can possibly read it, then yeah, it'd be interesting to know what it says. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Going down here. Got another telephone over here. I forgot to point out the telephone over by uh, PhD, but I will go back and point that out for you guys. Uh, lots of testing bits there. Got another room here with uh, a few more bits on the board. And a random empty room here. Uh, we got this over here. Which is like a load of uh, almost, I presume this is where the monkeys were kept. Uh, but I could be wrong. <laughs> and yeah, there's a few of those there. And there's also some actually here. <laughs> and you used to be able to see these quite clearly uh, before Mule Kick came around. But surprisingly, that green glow was always there before Mule Kick even appeared. And there is nothing creating that green glow. So I presume that Treyarch already knew that they were going to put Mule Kick into uh, other maps after Moon beforehand, before they even brought out Moon. So it's quite interesting that. Uh, another room here. Again, not a lot. Uh, we're going to work my way up before I go down quickly. Uh, we got this here. There you go, there. Very awesome shaped window right there. Got to say, it does look pretty cool. Uh, nothing else there. Going up. You've got the little Nikolai doll there. Right. <laughs> now it's a little bit more complicated to show you these windows because there's actually quite a lot to them, like these buildings. So I will go as far as here for now in regards to the windows over here because there's a lot more outside which obviously I'm not going to go and show you just yet uh, we've got a lot of destroyed bits up here again there's that, I'm not going to go any further just yet uh, let's just go back over here 
Right, so this is the last part of the map that I'm going to be showing you. Got a few crates there and boxes and stuff. Uh, here's this window. We've got another bloodied handprint, which is pretty cool. Uh, and that's about it. <coughs> and again, for anyone that thought that this metal door had a purpose to the Easter egg, I'm afraid you're wrong. And here's the proof. As you can see, it's nothing. You literally have nothing. <laughs> so yeah, there's nothing more to that. Right, moving on to there it is, this window. And again, a few more cupboards and stuff. And yeah, not a lot more there. Going in here where the rocket is, which is pretty cool to see. Uh, if you stand underneath it, which you don't normally get to do. Here we have this room with a really, really random staircase that actually goes to nowhere. Uh, at all. <laughs> I'm guessing that obviously it would have been a purpose to the staircase, but yeah, you don't get to see it. Um, and there's that. Can't see the clock behind the wall, just thought I'd confirm that. Over here in this room, we got all these. Again, another random staircase. Uh, not a lot here, just a few pipes. We've also got this bit up, oops, up here, um, which they probably stood on as an observation tower. And then finally, the pack a bunch room. Where we got this here, which is pretty interesting to see. The little door that goes to nowhere, of course. And then finally over here. We have another one of these doors that goes to nowhere, but yeah. Uh, and that's about it. That's all the main inside of the map. I'll just show you around the bottom bit of the Pack-a-Punch here. Which actually takes you into here, which is quite weird. The fact that the Pack-a-Punch takes you back into this room. I mean, look at that. That is something that you don't expect to see. Back of actually right next to this. That's honestly mad. Um, here's the bottom bit of the back of punch area. A lot of like, barbed wire and stuff and pipes. It's all very interesting. <laughs> also, there is the one near radio here, which you can... Uh, do things with, but obviously you're not going to see that just yet. So before I show you the outside of my map, I'm just going to go back here and show you where the other phone was and the other doll. Uh, so the phone is there. I nearly forgot where it was. Uh, the phone is here. This is another phone for the Easter egg for five. Um, and there, so there you go. And then here's the Takio doll right there. And I think I've shown you all the dolls, I believe so, yes. Right, so how should I do this outside the map? Good question. <laughs> um, let's start off right at the back over here and then work our way around. So, let me go back here. Alright, cool. Okay. So let's go and have a look around. I'm going to go through this relatively quickly, guys, because there is quite a lot of it. And I'm mostly just showing you guys around at this point. <laughs> but I'll go through it reasonably quickly. I'm not going to go look at like all this dirt and stuff, because there's nothing fascinating about that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. There's quite a lot of objects outside this map. There's loads of actual buildings outside this map, which I found pretty cool. Um, it's a shame they didn't make it so that you can actually go to some of these objects. It would have been cool. I mean, look at it all. <laughs> There's tons of it. Uh, you got this random antenna thingy that's broken. A little hut. Got a few of those. Have a look at the rocket that was destroyed from the back. 
Once we've got this thing being picked up over here. We've got to destroy part of another rocket by the looks of things here. Not certain about that though. Uh, there's some fire for something that was blown up, I presume. <laughs> uh, and here's the little crane. That's picking up that. Again, not that much there. Well, there's quite a few things over here. We do reuse a lot of assets for this. I will go and have a look at that in a second. Hold on. Let me show you the rest of this bit first. <coughs> Interesting, there's just a load of rocks randomly there. <laughs> but there you go. Uh, a few more containers. Nothing particularly special inside them. Other than maybe that, again, if you're Russian and you can translate that, that would be quite interesting to see what that says. Um, again, just a few pylons and thingies over here. And a little hut again. Uh, there's this thing here. <laughs> I'm surprised they even bothered building that. But there you go. There you got that. All of those. Got another one of these towers. Nothing really amazing there. <coughs> another one of these buried in the ground. A uh, little hut at the front. We've got a bit of a destroyed rocket over here. Um, is there anything? No, there's nothing over there. Um, what should it There's the road, but yeah. Should I? It's really difficult for me to figure out how to plan to show you all this. <laughs> um, there's like no good pattern to be done here. Um, let's try this. What's my pattern that I can use? <laughs> right. Screw it. And I'll show this bit. A few of these little bits in these, but. There's nothing actually in them other than that, <laughs> which is part of the wall. Uh, again, you're going out here, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. Let's go back first. Let's go back to this bit. Um, <coughs> Over here, and uh, I swear this bit is actually in the campaign, like this little gully way and all that that you can run along here up top normally and do stuff. I think they got that bit from the campaign that they built, but I'm not certain. Um, not a lot else out here. Isn't anything special out here as well as I remember. Uh, those right. Okay. So let's show this bit and then we'll go over there and do that bit. Yeah, that's a sound plan. Is <laughs> a uh, destroyed over truck. Here's another random little building which has a weird wall in it. Um and part of a wall that's not even built. Uh, anything else? Oh yeah, over here. There's this little area here that you see if you look over from stamina up, you can see down here. Uh, there's a few little containers and things down here. Nothing too special. <coughs> Door. And uh, there's also this bit here, if you go behind where the box normally is, then you can see all this crazy stuff, including a weird light. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it for that side. I will show you from, where's the staircase? Oh, it's up here. Yeah, 
so yes, yeah, so we go up through emptiness and then we get to emptiness. Ah, here we go. Um, and then there's normally this barrier, like I said earlier, I was going to stop here. And uh, if you keep going up, you've got more weird parts around, um, like a little way that's got nothing in it. Go up again. We've actually got an upside down. Uh, I can't really. <laughs> no, I can't. I was going to try and turn the other way up so you can see it. But I can't. It's an upside down too. <laughs> I don't know if that was a complete mistake on Treyarch's part or not. Maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't. But yeah, there you go. An upside down too. <laughs> um, then we got a little hut. Uh, we keep going up, and again and again, and this pretty much gets the same after a while. Uh, another hut at the top, and yeah, that's basically it. Uh, just to show you there's nothing inside the rocket while I'm here, because a lot of people thought there was. Uh, this side is basically exactly the same, all the way down. Show it to you anyway, though. Uh, a bit more of that. And on this side, there's another upside down, too, and a random just destroyed rock. <laughs> and yeah, again, another one of these rooms. And that's it for that. Then, if we go over here, I just quickly show you this. Like a little stand elevator part that you see around the outside. Uh, we go over to this building over here that I didn't show you before, which has like a little landing pad sort of thing on it, which is interesting. Um, then we got little random bits here, a see through place there, which actually has a door that's blocked, which is kind of interesting. And we got a destroyed part of the building there. And then again, further down, more destruction and stuff. And yeah. That's it, really, for that. Uh, showing you all that. Did I show you that bit? Pretty sure I did. Can't remember if I did or not, just in case I didn't. Here's this bit over here. Like close up. I think I did show you it, but just in case I didn't, I thought I'd show you it again. Um, all right, let's go over here again. All right, moving over to keep going over here. Got another destroyed lander. Um, yep. Yeah. A few more destroyed parts of a rocket. Again, another one of these with like spotlights and all that. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I can show you for this map because there's not a lot else to it other than these. Um, there's this building over here. This is around the building here. Um, and then there's just this thing at the back, which is like where the rocket should probably come from and stuff. There's a bit of water there. But otherwise, that's it. That's literally all there is to show of this map in general. Before I do end it, if you look at the moon and you can see those little orange spots, that is actually a little easter egg to the map moon, because obviously there's the base on the moon. And it's like element 115 rock over there, which is pretty cool to see. So I thought I'd point that out. If you look at most moons in this game, for Black Ops 1, you'll see that. Um, otherwise, that's it. I've finished this. I've done my tour of Ascension and everything around it. So, yeah, this one didn't have as much in it as uh, others do. I mean, it has a lot of buildings in it, this map. But it doesn't have many Easter eggs and things, which is a shame. But it does have uh, quite a lot of stuff around it, I'll give you that. Um, it's a big map. Otherwise, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, especially without the echo. <laughs> and 
um, yeah, I'll be moving on to Call of the Dead next. So I will see you guys in Call of the Dead, I guess. Uh, otherwise, yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys in that video. So please leave a like, it'd be much appreciated on this video. And if you're new and you want to check out my channel, then feel free. I do a lot of zombies related videos and other videos related to other games like Star Wars and things. Um, and also, if you want to subscribe, that would be awesome. <laughs> Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you there, guys.